So most of my videos on Beyond the Trail are mountain diary entries. I'm out in the mountains in the most incredible locations, amazing climbs, fantastic views. Uh, secretly, I'm actually a bit of a geek. Uh, perhaps that won't surprise you. Um, so that when I find certain samples of rock, I'm actually quite excited. And I'm going to show you one such specimen now. So if I just focus on this this block here that's obviously been split in half probably by a fall from some height you can see that uh, it's much lighter and more pink in color over the top but closer inspection you can see that it's actually lots of fine grain lots of light colored grains and a very dense black grain and then there's these pieces here that are clearly separate shards of rock to give you some idea of scale they're separate pieces of rock this is volcanic rock, and this just shows so much about the history of Snowdonia. And yeah, I might sound geeky, but this is so exciting. This, the fact that so much of Snowdonia was formed by volcanic explosion, ash flow, lava flow, and these pieces of rock here, quite possibly a volcanic breccia, where there's an explosive event, and flow and ash would just come down the mountain, but large pieces of rock that are cooled and solidified within the ash flow as well, possibly dolerite maybe a volcanic breccia. It's really amazing to think how these mountains formed the way they did and the fact that there's evidence of something so old here now and science will say 450 to 495 million years ago all this volcanic eruption and activity took place forming you know what we see around us now and uh, it's a great reminder that when you're up here don't just look at the big spaces and the big views but look at the small stuff as well it's incredible.